little guys. So we are going to do a little bit of styling on little Jibber. Hi. Hi guys. So this is our sweet little Jupiter. Jupiter is a sculpt by Melody Heiss. She is actually a custom for a client that will be going home soon. However, I have had people ask, especially mom, the new mom, how do I do her hair? How do I, you know, get those cute little curls to stay? Because obviously they're not going to. I actually forgot to take one little clip out. Um, so I wanted to take the opportunity just to kind of show you what I did. Um, she's kind of a hot mess right now because I was playing around and doing photos and what have you. But she's got quite long hair. Uh, you can kind of see in the back through here. Um, oops, so I gotta hold her head here. So she's got quite long hair. Um, and the hair that we used is a type of yearling mohair uh, from, oops, hello, sweetheart, from Southern Charm. And I use a combination of, I think for this one, I use a combination of six different shades of blonde, varying in a light blonde to a dark blonde. Um, but the ringlets, it has a little bit of a wave to start out with, but it doesn't necessarily have like the ringlets like you see right here. I can get ringlets to kind of be more pronounced using different hair types, but I wasn't really sure like what the overall hairstyle was going to be. So um, her hair has more of just of a wave than a, an actual curl. Um, but mom really wanted her hair to be longer so that she could do cute little styles on her, put her hair in little pigtails or what have you. I uh, did a little bit of a curtain bang, which for those of you that don't know, that's just, it's kind of like not really a bang. It's just a little bit of like wispy hairs around the front of her face, just at the very top. So we just did a tiny bit. Um, but I wanted to take a second and show you how you can give your little baby curls because with yearling mohair or any type of mohair honestly you don't want to use heat on it so i wouldn't recommend using like a curling iron um, and that was a good question she had asked me you know can i use my curling iron on it and i would say no because what happens is when you use a curling iron on uh animal hair which is technically a type of um, fiber, which they use for using textiles and so on and so forth, uh, depending on the temperature of the water or the heat or any temperature and moisture that's applied to the fiber, it can cause the fiber to felt. So what is felting? Felting is basically when the hair becomes matted and really tangled and it's incredibly difficult to undo. The hair is real dry and brittle. It just, it's, it's not a good thing. So in order to prevent any of the felting to happen, I recommend not using any heat, but instead using little pin curls or using sponge rollers. Um, but you want to be careful still. You don't want to do like a lot of pulling or tugging. Um, it's not like human hair. Like if you put too much tension on it and you, you know, break a hair, it's not like it's going to grow back. So you got to be kind of careful. Um, the first thing that you're going to want is a cutting comb or you can use your uh, baby's um, baby brush or baby comb if you like. Um, I own, The reason why I say it's okay for the cutting comb is because of how wide I use these um, teeth on the bottom here. Uh, they're actually similar to like a baby comb. I'll show you. I've got um, a bamboo baby comb here, which I, it's okay. I'm not a big fan of the bamboo um, baby combs, but I, I get the same results with my cutting comb that I do with a baby comb because of how wide the teeth are. I wouldn't say, because like, cutting combs have like two um, variations, like if we cut it in half, the one side, the, the bristles are really close together and the other side a wider part. So I would only use like the side that's wider apart. Um, then you're going to want to use your um, like conditioning spray. And when I say conditioning spray, I don't mean leave-in conditioner for human hair. I am talking more on the lines of uh, using a mohair conditioner. The difference between, again, human hair and mohair is that 
animal hair is considered more of a fiber, so it's gonna need to be conditioned a different manner than actual hair would be. So in all um, realistic uh, um, expectations of when you're working with fiber, you know, just like when you're washing your clothes, you have to add fabric softener to soften the fiber, same concept. So really um, a mohair conditioner is a good um, dilution of like a fabric softener and um, distilled water, not regular tap water, but distilled water. Um, and I usually would use like four parts distilled water to one part fabric softener uh, if you don't have any of your own. But I would first experiment with your concoction on some hair that you haven't rooted just to make sure that the type of fabric softener that you are using would be a compatible fabric softener to the hair that you're working with. So just kind of keep that in mind. So it is different than human hair. If you're working with human hair, you could do leave-in human hair conditioning spray, but most oftentimes you're gonna find these dolls are um, made with like a yearling hair or an alpaca hair. Most oftentimes it's an animal hair. So consider it a fiber, not a hair. It is conditioned differently. So you're gonna need um, your conditioning spray. You can either get that, you can order that online um, from any of the distributors, from your artists. I also have it available for my clients if they choose. Um, so you're gonna need one of those in the spray bottle. You're gonna need your cutting comb. And then um, with the clips too, I always tell people don't like pull the hair into tight ponytails. Um, or really tight clips because what can happen is again, the tension can be too much on the hair and it can cause damage to the hair. So um, I really liked these clips. Uh, these are little bow clips that actually have like a fabric sewn onto them. So it kind of protects the, the hair a little bit. So I really liked that about these little bow clips. You could easily make these bow clips as well. Um, these are basically these guys. So these are like the clips right here. Um, they're called duckbill clips and you can buy them at any beauty supply store. But um, that's what basically these are. Uh, this one's a little bit more of a narrow one where this one's more of a flat edge, but you could make your own bow and encase your duckbill clip with um, some ribbon just to kind of give it a little extra kind of protection. So if you don't have these nice fabric um, clips, then you can go make some with regular duckbill clips. So you can use either of those. Um, the next thing is I never ever like spray directly on the doll because if you spray directly on the doll, what's happening is your conditioner can react to the paint or potentially react to the paint that your artist used and you can end up damaging the paint. So I never ever spray directly on the doll. So you can spray your comb, which is what usually what I do is I'll spray my comb, kind of do this, do go away from my, kind of do this spraying motion, do it on both sides. And then when I'm working with the hair, I will work from the bottom up. So I'm just gonna turn her around so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And we're gonna be completely redoing her curls just so I can show you how to do this and um, so mom can use it as a reference later. So we're gonna spray down this comb. I'm not gonna do it right here because I got my other kits over here, but I'm gonna spray my comb real quick. And then once I get done, we will work with um, combing out the hair. All right, so now I'm gonna work my bottom up. You're gonna, you don't wanna like pull from the top down. You wanna work from uh, kind of combing out the hair very gently the bottom up, okay? You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you want to have more symmetrical curls, uh, it's probably best to kind of do it that way. If you're getting any tension, make sure you re-wet your cutting comb and do it again. So I'm just gonna keep on doing this and I will be right back when she's all wet. Okay guys, I'm back. So you can see I didn't soak the head. I just kind of combed out the hair very carefully through the bottom just to kind of give it a little bit of moisture using our conditioning spray. Um, you can go a little bit more if you need to. You don't have to. Honestly, you could do this with the hair dry as well. Um, you just want to let it sit for a while so that the hair can kind of curl on itself. 
So with this particular style um, that I had shown you, I had done a center part down the center of the head and all the way back to the nape of the, the neck. Uh, let me go, I'm trying to get her to balance. <laughs> Stay there, little one. All right, so I'm just going to separate that hair, give her a nice little part. Um, now, if you want more curls, you're gonna wanna do more sections. So I just wanted to have like real um, fun, cute little curls softly through the back here. Um, the one thing I did notice is that I wanted a little bit more curls this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to suck, section this into four sections versus just the two that I had last time. Okay, so I'm just kind of carefully separating the hair. There we go, I think we got it. Okay, so we've got our hair, and it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. I know that I'm like a, a perfectionist when it comes to like doing braids and things like that, so um, don't have to worry about that. Now, for this part, I'm gonna subsection, so you went down the center, and I'm gonna subsection through the center of each side. So you're basically gonna go from like the center crown area to like the temple just above the ear. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second here. And we're just gonna loosely clip that and get that out of the way. Okay, see if I can turn her so you guys can see. This little girl is a three to six month baby. So she is so fun. I love this sculpt so much. This is the second one I've gotten to paint. Um, and she's just a happy, fun little baby. I love it that, um, you know, there's so many options that you can do with her because she's a little bit bigger of a baby, but it's just a lot of fun. But anyway, so you're gonna see that we have our two sections in the back and then you'll have the two sections in the front, okay? So all you're gonna do to make those curls, give me your little one, you guys sit up for me now, okay? All right, so all you're gonna do, I'm gonna turn you so you can see, I keep forgetting, you gotta be able to see. Right about there. Very carefully, I'm gonna avoid the curtain bang. And if the hair dries out by then, just wet your comb a little bit again, oops, and just add a little bit more. Again, not pulling the, the comb from the scalp down if there's any tension. I've already pre-combed her, so I'm not worried about it. But working from the bottom up to work out any of those tangles, because if you start pulling on that hair, that's gonna pull the actual um, hair out, and then you're gonna be having a lot of issues. I wanna have nice, clean curls, so I'm going to comb them all together and you're gonna do this twisting motion, okay? I know that it looks like it's a lot of tension, but it really is not. So you can kind of see how it's twisting. It'll start twisting in on itself, and then you're just gonna keep twisting, okay? Twist and twist and twist and twist and twist. And then I take my little barrette, which for now I'll just use these clips, so then you use your clip very carefully without pulling, clip the, the little end tail to hold it in place. So you've got your first little twist, okay? You're gonna do that on all four sections. So give me a second, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we are moving on to the opposite side. Again, it's got a little bit dry, so I'm gonna work out that, that hair just a little bit. Again, it does not have to be soaking wet, so you don't need to soak your dolls, don't do that. And then we're going to twist again. Now, if you want, you can either twist clockwise or counterclockwise. It's not gonna make a huge difference. It will still make those curls. But like, if you want the curl to be like curling towards the face, then you're gonna want to do um, clockwise. If you want it more kind of curling towards the back and away from the face, then go counterclockwise. All right. So again, this is not, I know it looks tight, but it really is not tight at all, okay? All right, so we have our two sections done. Can see how those little twists are? That's all you're gonna do, okay? 
And then I'm gonna do that with the same on the very bottom two sections and I will be right back. All right, so now we have all four sections done. I'm just gonna get close so you can see. I twisted them clockwise and basically when you're twisting, you're just kind of making, you're twisting as you turn. So twist, turn, twist, turn, twist, turn. Very lightly, you don't have to pull hard, even though it looks like there's a lot of tension, there really isn't. So we're gonna let this little peanut um, sit and we're gonna let her hair set. Just like human hair would, you'd put them under the dryer, but we're not putting her under the dryer, we're just gonna let her sit. So I'm gonna let her sit for a couple hours so that the hair can, like any of that moisture that's still in there can dry. And then um, we'll take the curls down and I will be back. Okay guys, we are back. She's been sitting for a while, so we're gonna go ahead and take those little tiny clips out and let those curls down and see how our beautiful ringlets look like. So I'm gonna start with the bottom and we'll work our way to the top. So very carefully, you're just gonna unwind your curls. You can already see how cute those little curls are coming. And then you're just gonna use your fingers to kind of separate the curls. And then you can kind of separate them again, just kind of doing this motion with your fingers to kind of give it a little help on kind of creating those curls. It's really up to you how, how much you wanna see. But isn't that cute? So you got all these cute little curls coming out. I'm just gonna separate them even more. So I wanna see lots of little curls. Maybe one more on this one. But you're also remembering you gotta be gentle. You don't wanna do a lot of pulling, tugging, or any of that business. And then once you get that section done, um, you can see how pretty that looks, you know, and then this was gonna, is gonna cascade over it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna untwist the rest of our little knots, and then I'll be right back. But you can see, I'm just gonna turn around so you can see all these cute little curls that she has now got. And then to finish that style, I'm gonna go ahead and see the camera this way. Get her to, to balance, stay put, little one. Okay, then I'm very lightly gonna take, whoops, and just kind of use my fingers. I don't wanna use a comb. I'm gonna remember that lovely little clip I showed you earlier. Just take your clip and voila. Whoops, isn't that cute? It's such a cute little easy style to do. It doesn't damage the hair. You're not um, subjecting it to any kind of heat um, or a lot of water. Okay, come on, gotta get her to sit. Oh, she's a big girl. Okay. And again, just gonna kind of do this swooping motion, very lightly clip that one in. And then I'm gonna take and just kind of work the curls together however I want them. But you can see how cute that looks and how nice and shiny. If you wanna um, go in and, and add a little extra oomph, just take your conditioning spray, mist your hand, and then just kind of scrunch the bottom of it. Um, that won't take your curl out. It'll just kind of soften the bottom as well. Isn't that just so cute? I love this baby. If, you, if it's too curly, just 
dampen it again and just kind of very lightly kind of separate those curls with a little bit more of your water or whatever and make sure it's like again your conditioning spray or like distilled water um, don't just use regular water all the time because there's a lot of chemicals that they use to treat water uh, and condition it so that can build up on the hair as well okay I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see her I've got kind of a, a lamp on her so you guys can see her so she's got a little bit of a glare so sorry about that but show you those cute little curls how adorable is that now i left the little curtain bang out if you want you could go ahead and um curl the curtain bang like however you want with your fingers and or lightly do a pin curl and pin it but that is how we create a curly hairstyle on our sweet girl and kind of give her some extra curls without subjecting the hair to any kind of heat or anything like that that could potentially damage the hair. So here she is. All right, I hope that helped you guys. Um, make sure you subscribe and follow if you haven't done so already. I would be really appreciative and I look forward to sharing some more uh, information with you as we progress through the year. Have a good one.